Welcome to PCA 2024, brought to you by... It is, it is real. We are here, PCA 2024, and this is our first interview. Just like last year, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do an awesome, awesome show, you gotta start off with awesome, awesome places. And we are at the J.C. Newman, right behind the El Relo, which I, I learned how to say it this year, the <laughs> clock tower That's back right. there. And I've got this gentleman right here, and I've got this American by J.C. Newman. This cigar, made number nine on my list for last year. Thank you, Bob. This is one of the most fantastic cigars. I came up with the catch line that uh, you buy the first one for the flag, but right. the next one for the flavor. And that's the honest to God truth. I mean, it is it is an amazing cigar. Not that all the rest of them aren't as amazing, but this one just well, has it, something special. It's a unique cigar that you can't get anywhere else. You know, Bob, you know, there's so many wonderful cigars handcrafted all around the world. What we want to do with the American was prove that we can make a world-class cigar that can stand hand, head and shoulders next to some of the great cigars in the world and make it right here in the United States with all American tobacco, all American packaging to celebrate and honor the fact that cigars have been part of our country's heritage since 1612. And wow. so it's a, it's a unique cigar, the first and only all-American cigar. And the cigar that, that you have in your hand, Bob, is, is a special uh, uh, a Lonsdale size, the American Diplomat, that uh, we don't sell, it's a hard cigar to make, hard shape to make, but uh, I, I like sharing them with friends. And I'm honored that, that, that we are your first stop here at the 2024 PCA Trade Show. Yes, sir. So if, if you've been under a rock and you don't know J.C. Newman and you don't know the feller that's sitting right next to me, I'm just gonna shut up because I wanna light and smoke my cigar. Well, thank you, Bob. Yes, so sir. Our story started in 1895 when my great grandfather, J.C. Newman, founded our company. And he passed our family business down to my grandfather, who passed it down to my father and uncle, who are in the process of passing it down to my cousins and me. And so what's, what makes J.C. Newman different from every other manufacturer here at the PCA Trade Show is that we're a four-generation, 128-year-old family business and the, and the oldest cigar company here in the United States. And, and what's amazing and what I love about our business is that we handcraft cigars today like the American the exact same way that my great-grandfather did a century ago. And, and there just aren't that many things around today that are done the same way and, uh, as a century ago. And, and Bob, like we were walking through the booth earlier and we brought so many artifacts from our museum, right. from our archives, old cigars, old cigar boxes from our company's past as, as a way to, to, to just to celebrate this amazing tradition of cigars that we all get to enjoy. It's fantastic, and and one of the common threads between most of the of the cigar manufacturers that I see, a majority of them, is that they're focused on the history. They're focused on yes, they need to be profitable, but it's not all about profit. It's about taking that moment to share with somebody so that they can have a pause in their life. But y'all focus on not only the the end consumer. You focus on the whole history and heritage. You set up your park. Right. You're, you're, you set up your, your bat houses, yeah. you know, you have your tours um, and you're working on you're working on a convention space, right? Or a, a... it's a hotel and cafe and cigar lounge. But exactly. So, so right behind us, and you introduced us, is our historic El Rolo Cigar Factory. We brought a, a quarter scale replica here to the trade show floor. But El Rolo is the last traditional cigar factory still operating in the United States. We still roll 60,000 cigars every day wow. um, on the second floor there. And on the third floor is where we roll the American and Angel Cuesta and Leroy Neiman and, and our other handmade cigars. But well, it is our privilege to be able to continue and keep alive Tampa's historic cigar tradition. And you know, so many people have been to wineries and breweries and distilleries all around the country that become destinations for tours and tastings and classes and events. What we did was transform El Rolo, the last cigar factory in the States, into the destination 
for cigars with factory tours and cigar rolling classes and tobacco tasting classes and, and events and so much more. And so uh, we would love to invite all of your viewers to come experience the American cigar tradition right here in Cigar City of Tampa, Florida. That's amazing. That's amazing. I, I had an Angel Cuesta last night when I was doing my live and I actually, um, I actually almost got myself in trouble because there was a point when I was smoking about between the first and second third that it just reached out and got my attention so much I lost I lost my train of thought because I was <laughs> focusing on the flavors of cigars. Isn't that it's, wonderful? It's amazing how it it had a mild quality to it, but it also had this this fullness that yeah. you know and it it covered my tongue like gravy. I mean the flavors you you couldn't escape the flavors they were just there and I'm glad I couldn't escape it because it was delicious. Um, I Thank really you. I really enjoyed that cigar. Um, and it's also the, the one we, we shared last night, Bob, was the, the, the Salomon size, which is a, 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 a beautiful, perfecto cigar with a tapered uh, um, foot and a tapered head. And it's just, it's a, it's just a, a magnificent, elegant cigar, a absolutely. great cigar to share with friends. Absolutely. And now y'all have just, we just recently got a hold of some of the El Baton. Oh, wow. Which yes. is, is a fantastic a sleeper cigar. cigar. It is. But it's a fantastic cigar as well. The, the, the thread through J.C. Newman is is if you want a lighter flavor, you can get a lighter flavor. If right. you want a darker, a solid, or a heavier flavor, you can you can get something that's more full-bodied in flavor. But the quality is always good. I've never had a burn construction uh, issue. I've never good. had- Good, thank you. you know, I worry, I, I, I worry, but yes. And all the flavors are, although they're different, they're very clean. You, you if you taste leathers, or you taste cedar, or you taste oakiness, you're you're not tasting a muted flavor. Um, I talk about chicken soup. I like chicken right. soup. I do too. And mom's chicken soup has been in the refrigerator for a day, day and a half, compared to ramen noodles. Right. right. They're both chicken soup, but one just has a soul to it, and it seems like the flavors that y'all put in. I don't know how you do it. I don't want to know how you do it because. I'll tell you, you want to know what it is? Yes. It's just aging your tobacco. Really? Absolutely. So we roll our cigars with tobacco that's aged three to five years on average, and what that does. It just allows the flavors in the leaves to become smooth and elegant. If you can, you, you can roll a cigar with leaves that were in the ground three months ago, six months ago, a year ago, but you'll taste it. You'll taste it in the cigar. If you've lit up a cigar that's, that's harsh, that's bitter, that leaves a bad aftertaste, right. more times than not, that's caused by tobacco that was rushed, that, wasn't, that was not properly aged. And so it's part of our, 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 our culture and, and our company and our family is that we don't want to sacrifice quality for quantity. Right. And so the tobacco that we're, we're growing and buying today, we won't smoke those cigars, Bob, for, for another four or five years. And so um, um, that just helps separate us from, from some of the other cigar manufacturers. And, 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 but thank you for recognizing that because uh, when you look at a cigar, you really can't tell what's right. on the inside right. But it, it, it's that extra, it's that really extra effort to make sure that the cigar is perfect, including aging the tobacco, right. that, that delivers flavors as 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 clean and and, and smooth and, and balanced, right. really like that. And evidence to the to the age of the cigar that y'all didn't rush it. I always look to the mascara line when I do reviews. That's one of the first things I do when I get back about this yep. far is is if it's tight and look tiny, if it's look at that you know beautiful. that's and that ash is amazing. But that just shows if you've got a tobacco that was rushed or was pushed through, sometimes that'll get bigger, it'll get bubblier or something like that. Or, or it'll so, tunnel, right. or it'll crack, or it'll explode. And like when you when, when the ash falls off, like you really want to see a nice crown uh, left on the cigar right. too. And right, all that is, th those are just kind of subtle signs that, that you and I, we can recognize as, uh, as quality right. cigar making. Four generations. Four generations. Absolutely. And hopefully, you know, four generations down and, and what we think about as a company is the future. And so our goal is to be around for another four generations, another 128 years. And so when we create new cigars and new brand brands and we plan for the future, we're not really thinking about today or this year. We're thinking five, 10, 20 years from now, what do we want to be doing? Which is really rolling the cigars the same way that we have been for, for, for more than a century. But the longevity that is, is, is in our past is what we want to continue right. the same length of time in the future, which kind of separates us from, from others. And you've got some new stuff, you've got some new stuff we on do. the horizon coming out. We do. I actually bought 
one of the one of the baseball shirts. Did you have a uh, well, as soon as, as soon as they came out, y'all sent me the email. It. I bought Thank one of the shirts. I'm waiting for it yeah. to come because uh, I'm stoked about that. Well, Tampa is Cigar City, <laughs> even though our El Rolo factory is the last factory still standing in Tampa. A hundred years ago, there were 150 cigar factories in Tampa rolling 500 million cigars per year just in the city of Tampa. And so um, anyone whose family has been in Tampa for more than a few generations, your families, your ancestors rolled cigars, cooked lunches with the cigar workers, made cigar boxes, printed cigar labels. And so, of course, our minor league baseball team a hundred years ago was the Tampa Smokers. And on the jersey that you bought, the jersey we have here, the, the, it said Tampa Smokers, and there was a big cigar on the front. Right. Of course there was. And cigars and baseball have always gone hand in hand forever, two of America's pastimes. And so we wanted to bring us, create a cigar to celebrate that tradition. And so we're introducing today the new Tampa Smoker Cigars made in El Rolo to honor our, our old minor league baseball uh, team. And it's uh, fantastic. It's, it's, it's a neat story and it speaks to who we are and what Cigar City in Tampa is all about. And you've got some other stuff coming, right? We or... do. So last year, Bob, we talked about the Leroy Neiman cigar, right. the, the, which was our, our first edition, working with the, the foundation of the very famous painter who, um, who, who painted the Olympics, and Muhammad Ali, and um, um, uh, all these famous athletes. And he did so with two trademarks, a big handlebar mustache, and he always had a cigar in his hand. Leroy Neiman loves cigars. And so this is our second year now working with this foundation to create a limited edition cigar. This year's edition is limited to, five, to 600 boxes of 20, and we make no money on it. Our profits and the royalties that the foundation would have received from this, this project are combined together, and they're donated to Tampa's public schools to support arts education and the wow. public schools around El Rolo and Ybor City buying art supplies, drawing racks, papers. They even bought some, some digital cameras th this year to help the next generation of students be able to, to learn and, and, and learn about the arts. And, and so it's just a great project. And all of us who enjoy cigars, who, who, who enjoy a Leroy Neiman cigar, we're all able to help support arts education in the public schools in Tampa. I'll tell you what, the mindset of J.C. Newman, it's, it's, almost, it's, it's almost criminal that y'all don't walk around wearing capes oh because y'all are superheroes. I mean, you're, you're, you're focusing on giving way the, too kind. the end consumer something amazing. I mean, let's face it, we, we can make more money, but we can't make more time. Right. And, um, taking an, and taking a moment to smoke a cigar and just clear your mind or think about things or celebrate with somebody or, or even have a hard time with somebody and just work through that smoke just helps. And so y'all make sure that y'all do the best product possible so that they can have the best moment so they're not Man, I missed I missed a good moment because that cigar didn't do what I wanted to do. And then you're reaching the community, you're reaching your 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 city. Now you're reaching next generation into the schools with arts, and and that's that's it's a just... privilege, Bob. It's a it's a privilege to be able to continue this tradition that my great grandfather started. And it's a privilege to be able to make a product that people enjoy, and that people use for re relaxation and celebration. And so it, 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 it's it's just a, a, a real privilege, and and we don't want to change that. There's so much, so many new things in this world, new technology, new buildings, new, new, new people, new development, but cigars are old school. Absolutely. And it's an old school, old world craft that brings people together. And that's what I love about it. And it's just an incredible privilege to be able to do that. Well, I am, with you. I'm so glad that, that Chief, because Chief did all the scheduling. Let me go ahead and put it on the video. I'll make sure that he probably will zoom in on me when I said that. But um, I'm so glad that we got to, you got, to be our first interview because yeah. well, I'm I enjoy too, it. Uh, uh, yes, thank, you, thank you very much for making time to come visit us and, and just hope that you and all your viewers will not only see El Rolo here at the PCA, but will come to Tampa and experience the American cigar tradition with us. Is there anything else you'd like to share? Any Anything that we didn't cover that, that you'd love for the people to, under, to well, know? I guess what I would say to help pitch our, our the American cigar experience is uh, we offer guided tours of El Rolo five days a week and we have cigar rolling classes, tobacco tasting classes, we have events. We had 15,000 people come through El Rolo last year wow. for, for one of our public programs, and, uh, and, we're, and we're, we're growing. And so we opened Cigar Workers Park across the street from El Rolo last year, and we're working to restore a building on the other side of the factory 
that uh, is 113 years old. And when it reopens in two years, they'll have a hotel on the second floor, a cafe, a cigar lounge on the first floor, all dedicated to sharing the, the tradition, the culture, the history, the heritage of premium cigars. That's fantastic. So I'm going to close this out saying I'm just honored to be here. I mean, I like to surround myself with great people. And, and my friend, you you are in that list of great people. I feel the same way, yes, Bob. Sir. Just so. honored to have you here, too. And, uh, and, and let's do it again. Absolutely. So we're off to the next one. We'll see you later.